Berger coming off an incredible game against Eastern Kentucky last Wednesday in Assembly Hall, the first triple-double in Indiana women's basketball history. So Jalen Penn gets the Hoosiers on the board there with the jump. Idle also had a good day shooting from three-point range. She's also just been their leading scorer. Got a key on both of them here on the perimeter. Hapberg in traffic, and a blocking foul called on Omar, and that's going to be the second. More than the previous, so she's doing something right. She knows how to get her players involved. Patterson open for three. That won't go. Another offensive board. Penn can't finish. She gets her own shot, though. Patberg will try again. Third time's the charm for Indiana. Allie Patberg from downtown. Five offensive rebounds for Indiana. The Hoosiers struggling to shoot from the field, but they're getting plenty of chances. Good defense in the lane there. Armstrong got it knocked away. Berger in transition. Defense going to offense for the Hoosiers, and they lead by 12 here. The second game of the season for Indiana. Sanford goes inside, and Kirsten Nelson, the freshman, with the first points of her career. Not enough movement right now. You'd like to see some more bodies moving around. They're obviously trying to get Armstrong paint touches, uh, but she's also being flushed out. A battle into Armstrong. That was a beautiful pass. Again, yes. And the first points for the senior center. Ten blocks. Wow. 50 years ago, a different style of basketball for sure. There's a block, though, as Nelson rejected by Golbe. And now Golbe open for three. Bingo! Indiana leading by 15, make it 17. Beautiful move. Omar guarded tightly by Papper. Trying to get around Holmes and rejected. What a play by Mackenzie Holmes, the right hand swat. She says, get that out of there. Holmes had seven blocks on Wednesday against Eastern Kentucky, 27 last year. And as much as you see her go to work offensively with the left hand, what a move there. Just six players overall, but really Armstrong, Brown, and Omar, the only players last year that played more than 15 minutes as Grace Berger finds the nylon from downtown and the Hoosiers extend the lead. There by Holmes, she got to her lefty hook. And what a play there. Patberg takes it away from Armstrong, who was ready to go up. Here's Berger. And one, Grace Berger. An excellent finish at the rack. And more transition for the Hoosiers. Inside. What a finish. <laughs> Certainly a shot at being a four seed and getting some home games in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament last season for the first time in program history is there's a three. Shante Battle has struggled to get going all game. Just her second field goal she hits from downtown. Just because of the way she had played coming into this game, but just the way her game looks, the way her shot looks as Indiana gets an and one on an easy cut and finish. What a feed. 32 points is the lead for the Hoosiers halfway through this third quarter. Another rejection, and it's Golbe this time showing the defensive prowess. Kristen Nelson, for her second appearance of the game, could not finish. Papberg up and under, it goes! What a move from Ali Papberg. Pro is, is something that changes your life, uh, and it's something that changes you know, your family for generations, and it's just an amazing thing. Uh, but if there is unfinished business, what a finish. Battle and one, foul on Berger. Wednesday, still looking to get on the short score sheet tonight. Papper from downtown, that's Nylon. Allie Papper extends the lead to 37. Court, which, which sounds beautiful. Yes. And you know, now she's been working with the strength coach, the nutritionist, lost 20 pounds. Yes, that's a nice three hit by Kirsten Nelson. To change something about her game at the collegiate level, and that was making herself a quicker player. So she can make cuts and finishes like that in the rebound, but Ryan Howard is the name to watch for Kentucky on that Sunday battle. So he's a little sloppy with the ball. But she was second in D1 scoring last year. Clock down to five. There is more McNeil. That three won't fall. It's a board by Grace Wagoner, the sophomore out of Vincennes, Indiana, with the up and under. On UT Martin, it's Tuesday, December 8th. In the lane, good move by Kirsten Nelson, who's looked pretty good tonight. Oh, yeah, going over That's the That's her seventh point. Nelson, the freshman, looked really good. Uh, well, you know what it says, Griff? It says that as another great finish by McNeil. Poor McNeil broke the ankles there. Yeah. Cattle, wow, what a move. You can tell his team is connected, and Moore McNeil looks like she's fit right in. Small town kid mentioned out of Sharon, Tennessee, is Wagner with the steal. And she'll finish the other way. Well, they certainly have reason to. 71-26, the Hoosiers route Sanford.